Hey guys, so today I am here to do a review for Miss Lula Hair. And no, this is not the company on AliExpress. I believe they used to be on AliExpress, but they're no longer on AliExpress. They've now gone on and created their whole their own brand and their own name and they have their own website aside from AliExpress. So again, this is not an AliExpress company. So um, just keep watching to get all the details on this hair and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. All right, so like I said, this hair is from Miss Lula Hair, and this is their Indian Loose Wave in the lengths 18, 18, 16, and a 14 inch closure. The closure is a free part closure, meaning that you can part it whichever way you want. It doesn't come with a distinct parting, so I decided to go ahead and put a middle part because I'm just obsessed with middle parts. And um, But if you'd like to do a side part, you can do that because like I said, it's a free part closure. So I took all three bundles plus my closure and I sewed it onto a wig cap and I made this into a unit. I don't have any wig clips on my unit right now. This is just the hair on my head right now with no clips or bobby pins or anything in the hair. In my opinion, if you are going to buy this hair and sew it onto a cap, I definitely recommend getting at least four bundles because the wefts were thick. They just weren't long. So I ran out of weft, you know, towards the end. So I would definitely recommend getting four bundles instead of three if you're sewing it onto a wig cap. If you're just getting a regular sewing in your hair, three bundles and a closure or just three bundles would be perfectly fine. When I first received the hair, I co-washed it with my nourishing coconut milk conditioner. You can get this from CVS, uh, Walmart, I think Walgreens, some uh, beauty supply stores carry this but this is my favorite conditioner to put on all of my wigs weaves extensions anything that is my go-to conditioner so that's what I use to loosen up the hair just so that it would be easier for me to sew it onto the cap this is exactly how the hair looks after just deep conditioning it I did not add anything to the hair today I did yesterday and it pretty much looks the same I did notice that when I go outside and it's humid it does get a little puffy um, so I do recommend adding some Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Moroccan Sleek Oil Treatment to the hair before you go out, especially if you live in a really hot or humid climate because this hair, especially the closure, not so much the hair at the bottom, I just noticed kind of the closure tends to get, ooh, what's going on with my camera? There we go. <laughs> um, I noticed that the closure tends to get a little puffy, so I like to add that onto the hair um, before I go out because that will take your shit, I'm telling you. I absolutely love these curls. I think these curls are amazing. It's like the perfect beach wavy summertime look that, you know, every girl's trying to achieve. Um, that's why I went with shorter lengths versus like longer lengths because, you know, we're getting to August and around here that's when it starts to get hot as hell. So I decided to go ahead and get shorter lengths just so I could be comfortable and it's just really cute in this length. Like I really love this length on me. As far as shedding and tangling goes, the only time I got sh um, shedding is when I was detangling and deep conditioning the hair when I first received it. The hair, if you know what loose wave bundles look like, they're super coily. Like, they are really, really coiled. Even when you run water on it, sometimes it doesn't even loosen out of that coil. Like, you really have to, like, brush it and keep it in the water to loosen it up. So that's the only time I got tangling and, um... Some shedding I really really like the closure as well sometimes with free parts um, the hair can be a little bulky and it could be a little hard to flatten out the hair versus when the hair is already parted if you get a closure where the hair is already parted most of the time the closure is really flat if it's a good closure and it comes from a good company um, but sometimes with free part closures um, the hair is all pulled back so when you make that part it's like kind of lumpy um, but once I added some water to it and I took my wand curl and I pressed it down it flattens out with no problem and it has not puffed back up please excuse my edges it's like really hot in my house and I just turned on the AC so my edges are like kind of curling but I just wanted to show you guys how flat this closure lays and how well it blends it blends really really well it's not lifted in the front sometimes that little piece of lace in the front is really thick so sometimes it doesn't lay really flat but this one is laying really really uh, flat so it's a really good closure there we go 
The ends are absolutely gorgeous from top to bottom. The hair is thick from top to bottom, which is really, really important. So overall, um, so far the hair looks really, really promising. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh my God, get the hair. Because, um, you know, it's only been a few days. But based off of what I have seen and experienced so far, I would say that this hair, like I said, is really promising. I think that it's really, really beautiful hair. Okay, guys, so that's all I have to say about the hair so far. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!